Greetings, ATV enthusiasts. Let's take a look at this 2013 Polaris Sportsman 500 HO Touring Edition. So what makes it a Touring Edition? Well, that should be pretty obvious. This is a true two-up or two-passenger ATV. It's got the longer wheelbase made specifically for transporting a passenger on the rear. So whether it's your wife or your kid or some guy named Jamie, you get that nice comfortable seat up there in the back with the uh, handlebars so they can feel secure. Down below, you've actually got uh, footrests, and this one comes with uh, little boosters, about two and a half inch boosters as well, so even uh, people with even shorter legs, kids, whatever, can, can reach. So you can take these off. The top section, just have the bottom section if you want, but that gives, uh, well, again, secure feeling for the passenger in the back. Besides being one of the only touring editions I've ever owned, uh, this is actually one of the best kept, best maintained, um, ATVs I've ever had, and we're going to look at some of the features of that. So, most use ATVs, for example, this right here, you're going to have that torn up pretty quickly. Uh, this one, like you can see, has not not been touched on this side or on the other side. The wheels, I've not painted those wheels. Those are original condition. The black rims not bent up. You can tell it's not been ridden over stumps or rocks. Uh, the plastics, look at these fenders. I mean, just it looks almost new. No scratches very few scuffs or blemishes at all and of course the lid on these things uh, these are not the highest quality uh, but this one again is in excellent condition taking a look below you see it's got the reflectors on both sides uh, the axle guards nice clean uh, shocks or springs there both sides again there's the reflector so it's not been bumped into trees or ridden over rocks. I'm going to open this lid real quick. We can take a look on the inside. You can see the hinges are working properly. Just so many of these things are bashed up, cracked. They're, they're not, not real high quality, but it's got all the plugs in it down here below to drain your water once you've washed it or ridden over something that has, uh, you know, maybe got splashed on, maybe you got rained on. So this, just a really good condition machine here. The reason being it's only got, well look at a second, it's got 80 some hours on it. So just very little use. It was owned by a, it's been one owner by a guy who lived in a neighborhood and just never, never rode it like he thought he would. So this side, you see the same thing. The wheels, the fenders, the seams where the fenders come together here, just, just almost untouched. One of the things I like about this is it's got cup holders on both sides of the passenger seat so I wish more ATVs had had cup holders uh, of course I understand why they don't you bounce them around but I put a aftermarket one on my personal machine all right so let's take a quick look at the controls now uh, let's go back to the rear real fast again you see the reflecting stickers there on the sides toolbox Look at these shocks again, the rear, rear springs, just no scratches at all. You got the trailer hitch on this one. Good tread on the tires. So we'll turn on the key here. This is a true cold start. It has not been started at all today. You can see the sun rising there in the east. Beautiful morning, absolutely beautiful morning. All right, so there's the hours, 87 hours. Cycle through and we'll take a look here. That's the odometer, 544 miles, so really low, low mileage machine. I think this one starts better actually without the choke on, so it does have the choke here. We're going to go ahead and try to start it without the choke and see what happens. So the choke might have choke might have started a split second sooner, but no smoke at all, as you'd expect for something with this low miles on it. You can see the brake lights work. Go up here and turn the... So with this one, you've got the option of the top light, that's your bright setting, or the uh, your low beam is the bottom lights. Your controls are pretty standard, with your lights, your cutoff switch on the left, as well as your yellow uh, reverse override. Let's talk about that real quick. A lot of people don't know this on the Polaris's. If you're going backwards, your machine is going to hesitate. It's going to sound like it's stalling or there's something wrong. If you hold this down, you won't have that. So that's a safety feature so that you can't drive 
in reverse at 20 miles an hour by accident, you know, by, by holding down the throttle. So that way you have to have hands on both wheels or both handlebars with that pressed in if you want any kind of speed. Also, you have to have that pressed in if you're in reverse and you want four-wheel drive. Your four-wheel drive will not work in reverse if you don't have that pushed in. Um, real quick, you're going to make this a little bit of an informative video. This is a little bit longer, but there's a sticker right here that a lot of people ignore. Um, and what does it say? It says, do not push switch to engage four-wheel drive if the rear wheels are spinning. So the day I bought this, I was looking at another player sportsman as well, and I tested the four-wheel drive as I always do, and it did not work. And that is very common for these sportsmen. Uh, I've looked at multiple where you jack it up and put it in four-wheel drive and the front wheels do not pull. And it's because people shift into four-wheel drive while the thing's spinning and tear up the, I guess there's a roll cage in the front differential. And uh, it's plastic, apparently. And so if you do that, it'll tear that up and your four-wheel drive is gone until you rebuild that. So um, anyways, thank you for joining me today. This thing is, man, look how clean that is in there. Nice. Appreciate it. If you want to see, uh, well, uh, you can't you can't see any pictures in this in this time. No close ups, nothing, because this is going to a friend this morning, um, so he gets to enjoy this. Y'all have a good one.